hello everyone today we will be automating whatsapp for wishing birthdays using selenium so first of all we have to go to this website selenium.dev slash downloads and we have to download this file and uh, since we are using java we will be also downloading this file then we have to download a driver which is gecko driver since we are using firefox we have to download this if you are using chrome you have to download some chrome driver so we will be downloading this file and we will extract it and uh, our gecko driver will be there then we will just have to go to our ide and create a new project so i'm going to create a java project and uh, let's say i'm going to name it selena and then finish now we will go to the project structure and click on the module section and then go to the dependencies we want to add the jar and the zip file so we will click on the plus icon and here and um, add both of the files one by one when you click on the zip file this window will open so we will just uh, choose classes and then ok so i have added both the files then click on the apply button then the ok button now we are ready to use selenium so we will create a file let's name it banana and uh, I'll create our main method here. Now to start using Selenium, first we will have to create a web driver object. So I can do this like this. Now if I run the program, I will get an error that the part of the driver executable it is not set. So I will have to set it by using the system property. So what I will do is I will use system class and I will use set property. The first argument will be this. Since I am using Firefox, so I, I will be using the, uh, this argument. If you are using Chrome, then you can replace the Gecko with Chrome. The next is the path to the Gecko driver. Now if I run the program again, I am still getting an error because I am using Firefox developer edition. If you are using normal Firefox, then this might not happen. So I will have to create a Firefox binary object. And in the argument, I will give the Firefox developer edition path. Now I will have to give this Firefox binary to a Firefox options object. I will use the set binary method and uh, give the Firefox binary as a argument. Now the binary is set and I will have to give this options to the driver. So I can give it here. Now if I run the program, it's working fine. Now a new problem comes that every time we run the selenium program a new driver instance will be created and all the cookies previously stored will be deleted. So to prevent that I will have to create a firefox profile. Uh, not create but actually I will use the previous profile uh, that is already there and give it to the options then give the options to the driver. So I will use firefox. Now in the argument I will give the firefox profile location. You can find it by visiting the about profile section and since there are two profiles I will use this one and I will copy this path and I will give it here. Now I will give the Firefox profile to the options by using the set profile method. Now I will run the program again. Yes so my profile is working fine. So I have already written the code so I will use that code instead of writing the whole code again. So this is the whole code and it's pretty easy to understand. First I have created the web driver object static because I am using it in a static method here. Um, we can to open a website we will use this dot get method of the driver and since we have we are automating whatsapp so we will open the whatsapp web we are using this method to wait for seven seconds and a thread is created now to schedule this thread to run at a specific time i will have to use the schedule executor service uh, i just copied the whole code from uh, stack overflow now what is this delay it is the difference between the time you want to wish someone and the and the current time in milliseconds so 
you will create this uh, scheduled executor service object and give the new scheduled thread pool this method just give argument one it means that one uh, thread will be in the memory then you will use this schedule method give your thread here and the delay and use this that uh, mention that this delay is actually in milliseconds so next is the send message method in which we tell the driver to find an element by the xpath which is a span tag which has a title attribute with the value name which is uh, right now test so if we look at our whatsapp and we go to the developer tools we look uh, we click on this so we can see that this is a span tag which has a attribute title which has a value test so we have to locate this element and then then we will click on this so when we click on this this window opens this window and now what we have to do we have to just uh, find this input field now again if you go to the developer tools and uh, find the element you will, you will see that this is actually a div element which has a title type a message so that's what we do in our code we again tell the driver to find find div tag which has a title attribute with the value type message and we again click on this now to send the input to send the keys we have to use this send keys method and we will send these keys which is happy birthday and the name value and this is actually as emoji then to send the message we can just send a keys dot enter which is just enter key and our message will be sent so in case something goes wrong we will catch the exception and uh, we will print something and we will return false so what we return false actually we, this message is being called by the thread so what if we return the false and if we catch false which means this is true and this lines will run now this line states that this link will open in our default browser in which we are sending a message to this number with this text and then we will open a GUI dialog which says lmao dead and then we will exit the thread and in case this works then this is our last line of the program anyway so program will end so to test that this pro this lines works I have to uh, do something that this program does not work so I will change title to title and then I will run the program so you can see that this window with this number has been opened with this text and a lmout that dialog has also been opened now we are going to live test this code I want to wish someone at 17 date and uh, at 12 am so I will do is modify the timings uh, also I will have to put the name here and now I can run the program again make sure you also change the number here in case the program just does not work you will have a backup so I will run the program now I will have to just wait for 12 am and my bot will just send the message automatically meanwhile I can continue my other work so let's just watch Rockstar <laughs> <laughs> so it's 12 am now let's see if the message has been sent or not so yeah the message has been sent uh, so thanks for watching i hope you also waste your time by creating such a useless program